Router the 3.3 at 11779. I'm just doing 20 watts. I'm using a, a farm gate, a farm gate as an antenna. There are antennas all around us, and today we're gonna find some, this time on Ham Radio Tube. What is happening, everyone? Today we are back with a second edition of Turning Random Things into Antennas. Right now I'm at Huntsville State Park looking for things. We've got the G90 Go box here, and right now I'm looking at this railing here. I've got a slightly different setup than before. This is what we're using here. I've got a little uh, banana plug thing here with a little alligator clip on there. Last time I was using about a foot of wire, but I wanted to make this shorter, so I've only got a couple inches of wire here, just because I was wondering if that wire was actually acting as an antenna, so I want to minimize that. But right now, we're looking at this probably galvanized aluminum railing. It might be steel, I don't know, but we're gonna try and load it up, but check this out. This is a cheap, crappy, like $10 multimeter that I just keep in my car so I can check for continuity, which is something I didn't do last time. And you can see, we've got continuity to this railing. So will the G90 tune it up, and can we make a contact? Let's find out. I wanna make five different things found in the wild into an antenna and make a contact, so let's get going. We are on. So will the G90 tune a railing? It sure will. <laughs> How stupid is this? All right, so there's some guys on 14.252, or were. There they are. We're gonna do this. Kilo, eight Mike Romeo Delta. Helps to turn the power up. Kilo, eight Mike Romeo Delta. Ah, oh, you got the kilo part right. <laughs> losing the band. Kilo, eight Mike Romeo Delta. I'm not going to compete with a 5.8. He's like a 5.3. Pretty weak signal. They were up to about a 5.5 earlier. Kilo, 8 Mike Romeo Delta. Kilo, 8 Mike Romeo Delta. Ah. They're coming up to five by five now. You would think with our antenna being grounded, we would get out really well. <laughs> I mean, they're peaking five, four, five, five. I don't know what the problem is. Certainly not my antenna. Kilo eight, Mike Romeo Delta. Come on. Oh. You got two of my letters right. I don't think this one's gonna work. Okay, so epic fail on the railing, but now we're at a guardrail, and this is not grounded. So this might work better. I got it connected right here. I checked for continuity. We actually have continuity through all this. Signals are good. We're hearing this guy. So let's see if we can work them. Look at that, he's like a 5'5". Five, five. Let's see if we can get him. Let's tune her up here. No problem. Where was he, 297? Oh, now he's got a pile up. Kilo 8, Mike Romeo Delta. Kilo 8, Mike Romeo Delta. I think we're gonna make this happen. 
kilo, eight micro, yo, whoops. Why am I on split? Uh, Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta. Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta 41441. Roger 41, you are 55, 55 in Texas, Tango X ray. <laughs> Little does he know that is my antenna. <laughs> I love it. Once I had it, for some reason it was doing split. Once I turned it off a split, I was actually keying up on 14300. How hilarious is that? Once I turned it off split, first freaking call. Helps when you're transmitting on the frequency you're trying to operate on. That's awesome. All right, next spot, let's go. Texas is full of farms and ranches. And around those farms and ranches are fences. So I've got this connected to this fence here. Not sure if this is private land, it probably is, but I got continuity, I checked from there to there, we got continuity. Oddly enough, this barbed wire, I checked for continuity here, I couldn't get any continuity, so we're going with that for the antenna. And we are actually hearing stations. This is Kilo India 5 Oscar Victor Alpha. So let's see if we can get them. I'm literally right on the road here. Cars are passing by me, <laughs> making all kinds of noise on the radio. But we'll try it. You know, in a zombie apocalypse, there wouldn't be a bunch of cars running around. We'd just have a bunch of antennas, so. Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta. Oh, you got the kilo right. Jeez. This guy's 5'6, five, 5'7. Five, kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta. Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta. Roger the 3 3 at 11779. I'm just doing 20 watts. I'm using a, a farm gate, a farm gate as an antenna. Holy cow, I gotta try that one. There's plenty of farm gates out here. Hey, I appreciate that. Man, you're doing a good job. I know you were down there. Thanks for your patience today, Mike. No problem, man. I'm happy to do it. I'm filming a video right now. I'm taking the G90 out and, and loading up random objects in the wild. <laughs> it doesn't get much better than this, man. Maybe Pota, but this is pretty fun. Hey, thanks for the contact, brother. Have a great activation at 73 from K&MRD. 73, have a good one. All right, so what are we? We're two for three. I don't know how to do sports numbers. We tried three. We got two. We got two more to go. Let's go. So how about a carport now? I don't know how this is going to work, but... We got it connected up there. This is like galvanized aluminum or something. I don't know. I got a little bit of continuity there. It was kind of intermittent, but I'm here in station, so let's give it a shot. This is uh, this is Alpha Foxtrot Zero, Alpha Juliet in New Mexico. So another New Mexico station. We just worked one uh, off the off the farm. I don't know what you call those things, but it's like a a gate that they put around the farms, around all the barbed wire and stuff. I don't know. Tuned up, no problem. He's a little weak. That'd be awesome if your shelter could also be your antenna. Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta. Nope. Ah. 
Yeah, roger that. Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta. I've got you about a 5x4, 54 in Texas. I'm using a parking garage roof as an antenna. Hey, I'll take it. And car, uh, parking garage is probably the wrong word. It's like a, it's like a metal carport thing at an apartment. I just hooked a wire up to it and tuned it up with my G90. Uh, 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 crazy, but you know, it's a, a creative solution, and it's uh, certainly working for you. Roger that. Well, thanks so much for taking my call, and have a great activation, man. 73 from KNMRD. Wow. I'm 5'8". <laughs> he just said I was 5'8 on that last one. I'm freaking... <laughs> that's it. I mean, that's... The... Oh, I think he was still talking to me. Oh, well. Yeah, that's it. That's it. This part... We're actually right next door to my house. That's my house. <laughs> and these are the apartments next to it. <laughs> I don't believe that worked. That is too awesome. All right, we're, uh, what, three and four? Let's go get one more. Let's do it. And I can't think of a better place to make our final attempt for a contact at America's favorite pastime, a baseball backdrop. <laughs> How stupid is this? This was, this is right in my neighborhood. I pass by this every day. There was a school here, they just tore it down, so. I'm probably trespassing, but whatever. It's all in the name of ham radio. So we've got the antenna connected right to the chain link fence there. And I was actually hearing a guy. It's hard to see the screen there, but there's a guy in Alabama. So let's see if we can get him or someone. Oh, he's fading. Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta. Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta. All right, he can't hear me. Let me see if I can find someone else. Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta. Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta. No, that's not me. Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta. Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta. Kilo Delta 1. No. He ain't hearing us. Well, November 4, Turd didn't hear us. Let's see if we can hear Whiskey Bravo 9, Kilo Whiskey Delta. He's in, uh, I don't know where he is. He's about five by four, though. I doubt you can see the screen. Maybe that'll work. He's five by five. Kilo 8, Mike Romeo Delta. Oh, that was the first call. Kilo 8, Mike Romeo Delta. Was that Kilo 8, Mike Romeo Delta? Roger, 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 roger. You're 5x4, 54 in Texas. Copy the 5x4 in Texas. Now you're 5'5 in US 10664, 10664. And I want to tell you, I love the video. He's helped me out over the <laughs> Oh, roger that, man. Well, I'm making a video right now, and I'm talking to you. I'm using a, uh, a baseball backdrop for an antenna right now with the G90. Yeah, roger, roger. Uh, I'll be sure to go check it out when I get home, then. <laughs> well, I still got to finish filming and editing it, so it'll probably be up uh, maybe Friday or sometime next week. All right, roger, roger. Uh, hey, have a great time out there. We'll talk to you again down the line, 73. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. 73, have a great activation. K and MRD. <laughs> I don't believe we just did that. 
with a freaking baseball. Is this a backdrop? Is that what this is called? I don't know, man. <laughs> I had to sit out. I was getting, I was leaning over this thing, trying to work N4 turd. That didn't work, so I had to sit out. It's, it's dirty. It's a construction site, but hey, we had fun. This is freaking awesome. So not too shabby, huh? You never know what you can do with a G90 and an alligator clip, man. What an, what an afternoon. <laughs> so we got November Alpha 1 Kilo Whiskey in Nebraska, Kilo India 5 Oscar Victor Alpha in New Mexico, also Alpha Foxtrot Zero Alpha Juliet in New Mexico, and finally Whiskey Bravo 9 Kilo Whiskey Delta in Illinois. So four out of five attempts, we made a contact. And at least one of those I think was was on the first call, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, I could be. I'm out here screwing around, so I'm not really paying attention, you know? <laughs> but how much fun. You take your G90, you go out, you find something in the woods, or in, in, in the, the wilderness, or, or what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Random objects in the wild, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> you make a contact. <laughs> Ham radio is fun and it's awesome, and I love it. And I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again on another episode of Ham Radio Tube 73.